If you could copy and paste someone else's memories into your mind, which would you pick? Happy memories. Sad memories. Memories which imbibe you with new and exciting skills. Each would have their benefits, but there may be some drawbacks, too. Could new memories change your personality, change the world, or expose your own dark secrets? Let's find out as we ask, what would happen if you downloaded someone else's memories? Starting at number four, change your personality. The way you act is governed by the chemicals in your brain and the events you've experienced. We know that we can influence the former by messing with your gray matter's chemical makeup, but could adding new memories fundamentally change who you are as a person? If it could, the way to do this would be to edit your explicit memory which is a form of long-term memory, and not an archive of your dirtiest ever fantasies. Explicit memory requires conscious thought, so if you need to recall who is coming to dinner tonight, what they're allergic to, and who's likely to say something racist, you'd use a specific part of your explicit memory called episodic memory. But a large part of your everyday behavior is governed by the way you remember things happening in the past. So, if you absorb the memories of someone else today, this may change how you act tomorrow. If you wanted to make someone more confident, you could do this by adding memories of someone else overcoming adversity. But this could take a dark turn, too, as by adding in negative memories, you could make someone fear something. And once a person is scared, they are yours to control. So to prepare yourself in case that happens, Maybe you'd better pull a piano and learn some kung fu. At number three, improve yourself. The opposite of explicit memory is implicit memory, and this type controls your subconscious movements, with everything from walking, speaking, and driving all governed by the memories you gained while learning to do them. But if you're thinking you could just download martial arts lessons from a black belt master and become a ninja, you're wrong. The key to learning is repetition. So to take on someone else's abilities, you'd need every memory of every lesson they've ever had. It reportedly takes 10,000 hours to master something. So this is the volume of implicit memories you'd need to acquire just to become good at a single task. This raises the possibility of a future where skill sets are bought and sold, with Spanish, horticulture, and erotic breakdancing all able to be learned in an afternoon. But can the brain cope with this many memories flooding in at once? How far can you push before you overload and confuse the fragile human mind? If your memories become confused and there are crossed wires, might you start weaving baskets when you're trying to make love? If someone asks you to speak in French, could the folk music lessons you downloaded on the same day make you start playing the air ukulele like a madman? Also, it's important to understand that many skills require a base level of ability, so you can't just transfer your memories and seamlessly imbibe someone with the same capability as you. I could give any one of you folks the memories of how I've trained my luxurious sensual voice, but... Without my vocal cords and all-powerful gonad, you might end up sounding like an epileptic hyena. The fact is we still don't understand exactly how much of our memory works at all. Hope this changes by the time we develop a memory transplant machine, but even then, there could be gaps in our knowledge. So, how could we solve that? 2. Be great at quizzes. Semantic memory. It's another type of conscious explicit memory, which helps you retain facts and information, with these memories consciously activated whenever you need to know something. Ever woken up next to a cute stranger and forgotten their name? Oh, don't fail me now, semantic memory. Oh, oh, oh 
My mistake, that was just a bedside mirror. Man, I look good today. Semantic memory enables you to remember that the capital of Germany is Berlin, that milk comes from udders, and that brown things often taste delicious. But that's not all. Semantic memory also helps you retain complex knowledge learned through education. So what happens if we could transfer this? The sharing of factual knowledge directly from person to person could revolutionize humanity's progress. Complex subjects could be learned at the touch of a button. No knowledge would ever die just because someone's physical form did. And the world's greatest minds could continue the work of their predecessors, as if they'd carried on living. At least they could to a point, because as with skills, many activities require a base level of talent to make the knowledge worthwhile. This would apply to semantic memories too, because it's no good knowing how to perform heart surgery if your brain isn't capable of staying focused enough to remember. Also, the utopian idea of sharing knowledge directly between generations ignores one crucial fact about memory. It edits itself. And as we're about to find out, this could have some peculiar ramifications indeed. And at number one, edit the past. If you've had a terrible life full of woe and failure, would you replace your memories with better ones? And if so, what would happen to them once they're implanted in your mind? Would they stay forever pristine and perfect? Or will your inherent loser status degrade them gradually over time? The answer is the latter. Because when you remember something, your brain alters the memory ever so slightly each and every time. It's not like a movie being played back. Your memories are more like a lifelong game of Chinese whispers. Imagine 10 versions of you, with each one taken from a different year over the past decade. And let's say in 2007, you embarrassed yourself at a party by calling your best friend daddy. 2008, you would remember this incident differently to how it happened. Perhaps you'd add a little patch of urine to the equation. 2009. You might continue with the urine memory, but then forget that some girl you liked rolled her eyes at you. This process would continue over the years until 2017. You remember how you called your best friend Daddykins and everyone found it funny when you wet your pants and that octopus shook your hand. Every time you remember, you add a detail that wasn't there before and you lose a little detail too. After enough time, your memories become significantly distorted, so the same should happen to implanted ones. Eventually, they'd be so different they'd bear little resemblance to the originals. You may be able to alleviate this with boosts of fresh piping hot memories delivered once a month. But since this technology isn't even available yet, we can only speculate as to whether this or indeed any of what we've spoken of today will ever be possible. However, there are some neat memory tricks you can use on yourself right now, and one we're going to cover in our bonus video may even change your entire outlook on life. This video is called Finding Your Bump, and you can watch it on our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash strange mysteries. For a $2 a month pledge, which you can cancel at any time, you'll get to watch this and indeed all of our bonus content which goes deeper and darker into every topic than YouTube allows. If you don't want to donate, then it's cool, we still love you. And we'll continue to provide the best content we can under YouTube's restrictions. As you'll see if you watch our recent video on what happens to humans when artificial intelligence takes over.